All right. All right. Morning, 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 morning. Black God 777 underscore. Me teacher, me general. We are going with Big Up Congo. You know, I'm a real general. The man that teach me everything, the Mega Vic 95. But the first batch people, member, I Congo teach me about nutrition. I Congo teach me about praying the right way. I Congo teach me all things about spirituality and food and bag of things. You see me? Lady Hilly, I go on. Remember your sexiness overload, you know. Remember them say you have the biggest, rawness, sexiest ass of Canada, so. And me, and me say so. And the people, them. You understand? Hear me, I say, people, I wake up this morning. I'm a feel good. I wake up this morning. I'm a feel happy. I wake up this morning and I feel accomplished. I wake up this morning and I feel great. I wake up this morning and I feel like my words and my works and the things that I say I reach the right people, them ears. You understand me? I said, that. We are fighting a battle. I mean, I think we don't understand the battle where we are fighting. You know? We don't think we don't understand the struggle, the uphill struggle, and the fight them put up on the battlefield without no shield, without no sword. We have to fight and take away people's shield and use it and take away people's sword and use it. You see, once, you're born or you live under the brand Jamaica. You're already fighting a fight. And this morning, I wake up and we make a huge victory lap. Now, when I say my words come to pass, I want to remember when verses did do during the pandemic. You know, cause people I want to become very forgetful, you know. Remember when verses doing you know, and them this way and them put out the top performer them for verses. That time we have the biggest numbers per verses, Bunty and Beanie, and them never add Bunty and Beanie to it. And then we cuss and rebel and then them add Bunty and Beanie and say them I give them part of publishing. And I say, I turn on my life and I say, if Swiss Beats and Timberland really want to do something, for the culture and for dance hall. Them for fight, for get back killer and be him and them visa. Who remember that? Who remember that was my plea? That was my cry. You just adding us to the magazine cover that mean nothing. You just agi and um, bunty and be in them publishing. That's what them supposed to get and they shouldn't that I will back at in the first place. But if you really would say you want to do something for the culture, if you want to help the culture, get back Bunty and be in them visa. Now, last night was a milestone in the comeback for dance at the forefront. And I got to try to talk today without cussing anybody. I got to try to talk today without getting any way aggressive at all because more people for Absorb when me are set. Zine. They have used the visa situation to cripple dance and music because of their agenda to push the LGBTQ community upon the last nation of straightness, which is Jamaica. Zine. Someone who just has see this as music and visa. No, it's a righteous Buckle, we are going. So when you see them cripple the artists, them via visa. Anybody where I say them I help the country from the big leagues, yeah, have to help a situation there. Else you're not enough for a culture. We already have the biggest music in the world. So for you come and say you produce one song, that not mean nothing because you help yourself. 
if you put Bunty and Beanie upon verses at the time and then put verses, wasn't doing nothing for Bunty and Beanie really. It was actually broadbanding verses all over the world because once you infect and inject dancehall in a, any international music product, it gets bigger. See, because we have the biggest music on the face of the earth. Now, when certain artists do a visa, we cannot compete on the main stage because our new products does not have what it requires to sell tickets and to fill these venues. See? Now, a hell for a Jamaica show will get Madison Square Garden. If you know anything about promotion in America, a hell for get Madison Square Garden. Barclay Center, where you see them get last night, we more lenient, but it's still hard. What happened last night was history. Zin, me go to Barclay Center, there was 50 Cent, there was Buster Rhymes, there was, uh, who again? I think Fat Joe. Who will see the show there? I will, who was a hip hop artist? It takes for fully. Zin, um, what do you burn a boy? I must see fully. I know him alone. Some people about burn a boy alone. He's never burn a boy alone. Him and some other people, right? What do you super cat full back the center to? Zin, a Swiss beats them care super cat in there. That was huge. TJ, they made run out and Dexter It's the last night. It's the last night. Tell the world, say, dancehall is number one and Jamaica is still number one. You hear that? I'm proud of everybody we book for that show the last night. Me don't know the promoter, but I want to pick up the promoter. People want to understand how me reasoning. You know? Not because the promoter now book me, he book job of them and that's amazing for me. Cause a Jamaica, they are represent the man keep a show. We're fully Jamaican. Barclay Center Ram till he can't ram no more. See? What happened last night was massive. Kojo had foot by somebody. People may have a forward live and commend the promoter. Figure straight. Jamaican. See? The show was 100% Jamaican and Barclay Center sold the fuck out. That show the last night was a part of the journey. See? They maintain Jamaican status as number one in the world. See? If that show did, did flop last night, to the earth way in a major way. So for the facts that the show was sold out and the performances were amazing, it's a big plus for Jamaica and the culture. Now I'm going to hope them young youth here. When I talk young youth, I talk the young, young, young one of them. The one them we are saying about the spit in that show and the suck hood and the and the and the the bag of things when it makes sense. On of a watch, not to be criticized, but watch and observe and follow the guideline. We now say if you do everything with the elder them doing, it, but follow the guidelines. Do not go over the boundaries that was set by the people them before we, my lord. We, you have to be innovative and you have to be creative. But you cannot be destructive. Cause I'm not gonna mash up something where hard to fix. Very hard to fix, bro. Bro, who no make best of the best no keep. Me can't believe all now, you know. Killer filler.
more of them and them understand them make best of the best not keep the new artist make best of the best not keep more more understand me as saying no, bro last night supposed to be a wake up call for all of the young artists them we are seeing garbage None of the six month sang them nothing last night. None of the three months sang them nothing last night. None of the little one year sang them nothing last night. I do everything. None of them play. And the fucking venue was sold out. So I am saying to them, you don't need glasses. You don't need glasses. You don't need to listen to your entourage member them where I say yes to everything where you say. You need to look out of your own eye and ask yourself, why me not get booked for Barclays Center? Why me not get booked for that big show here? Ask yourself. Sit down and ask yourself. You don't know how to do something right. Oh no. Not doing something right. See, somebody said I'm playing an early part. Why not show? I am saying, for you to be the artist thing, and them up do a show like this, we have bring bring back the Jamaica thing, and them not look on the bridging. It's something wrong. Mumma London, big up yourself, my G. So when me I say no, Barclay Center not easy for full, you know. Remember, I like, remember Amazura art for full. Some artists careful Amazura, much less Barclay Center, Bridget. First thing, not for the people, I'm saying, when I drive, go away, I'm going to say no. So if you're not in demand, dog, you, you, you can't run Barclay Center. Last night, People, you know, say, me not know about the show. If you don't watch my live, them zine, you don't really realize that I never know about the show. Because I hear about the show. I keep it on the road, I hear about it. And then somebody I tell me, say, Ellie, they put me, say, Ellie. And them send me the flyer. And I see a cabra, they put it on, parent on, lazy and yellow man. And I say, wait. And I know I'm all something this. But honestly, me never know about the show. I want to look at the selector part, I think of Bobby Candace and Jabba. Massive B. And then one next song, them never have no whole person on it. So, the show well put together and well planned. I mean, never really know. People, when I woke up from last night, when the show go on, people are text me and people are call me. See? From the show start load, people are text me and say, Barclay Center ram out. See? Them say, Barclay Center come like a girl on a back road, ram out. And I said, this is amazing. Because the way I see music, you know, enough of only don't see music that way. Some of them go see music for jump up and clap. And there is a war going on musically. Them well wa me love Afrobeat you know, people. I don't want to get me wrong you know. I love Afrobeat. I appreciate Afrobeat music. But they are using Afrobeat as a weapon for downplay dance hall. And me not like it because our content is the uplifting of the black people and the uplifting of the black race along with party along with warrior spirit. Afrobeat does not sing anything uplifting. Afrobeat don't empower black people. Afrobeat don't push any revolutionary thing. It not talk about the atrocities of black people and nothing. See? So I have a problem with them using it as a weapon against reggae and dancer. See? So, um, back to basic. You say you don't think so still. Prove me wrong. Which Afrobeat song you know bust? We sing about any atrocities in Africa 
or any struggle with black people are faced, or any problem, or any laws where them rise against black people. There's none. There's not one Afrobeat it we sing about anything defending black people or pushing black people for better or uniting black people and none of that. So now Afrobeat shit, I mean, I want nobody bring it to me. I mean, I want nobody come tell me about Afrobeat more than dancehall. None of that because we are push a trailer truck up a hill. We are push a trailer truck up spur tree hill. So do not tell me that shit. So last night, last night, see, last night was very powerful to Jamaican culture, Jamaican entertainment, Jamaican music. You understand? Jamaica struggle. That show the last night was proof that we are the number one music on the entire planet. Zine, there's no venue where we can ram. There's no venue where we can sold out. It's just because they are blocking us. Certain venue we can't even get. I told no found to know where I go on around the scenes. Once you say I keep Jamaica and show, you now get certain venue. When you keep Jamaica and show, you have to merge it with hip hop and something to get certain venue. Because they want it look like we cannot do it. You understand what I'm saying? Them I make it look like, oh, this, this genre doesn't have the pulling power. Danny Moe, big up yourself. Bye, budgies. Them want it look like our genre is not that big to full certain venue, but it's a lie. Them just nah give we the venue them because of our content. Our music is uplifting and our music is uniting black people and our music have messaging of the music so they want to water it down and minimize it you see last night more and big up shabba more and big up elephant man more and big up mad cabra more and big up barrington levy more and try remember everybody good with the on the show you know zine more and big up the great yellow man you know zine the great yellow man, more and big up Bobby Candace and Jabba to at 97 because they represent. You know, more and big up Noah to come and see Noah perform with Elephant to Zine. So more and big up Noah to. You understand? Big up Two Fly from Jersey. Big up Ninja Kid. You understand? We have a big up with people them. Big up King Shango. Zine? People, big up Capitan. People, me not think gonna understand what I go on last night, you know. Back to basic. Yes, the artists, them in a dance hall, stop on fire. But them can't take back what them do already. Keep it on sing last night. They have to sing him original song them. And the song them where do the work because of them stand up in the people and brain. Elephant man sang them stand up in the people and brain. Cabra, the bridging. We want to understand. Big up Spraga. Um, I don't think Spraga did, um, book for the show, but Spraga did dead. People were at my last night. Open up the floodgate for proper dance hall. And you know why it was able to be done? Floss thinking, what I mean by it's just a show. You don't know nothing where I go. And if you think it's just a show, just keep quiet, bitch. Come in, as me say, I don't want to cuss nobody out. I mean, I want to get angry to this. So don't text no foolishness, but It's not just a show. It's a message. At the floodgate open back. I'm going to big up the American embassy. Because we have to call a spade a spade. Zine. We have to big up the American embassy. Zine. Capitan have back in visa. Work permit more than likely. Elephant man have back in visa. Work permit more than likely. Um, that is great for us. But we still need more. We need Sizzler Kalanji to get a US visa. We need Bounty Killer to get a US visa. We need... Being a man forget him US visa. You understand? Javin Chi for him US visa. We need popcorn for him US visa. Stop use Sykes and black out with culture. Cause a Sykes you know I use Bridget. And we know a Sykes you know I use. Stop use Sykes for water down with culture. Cause no say if 
all of these great talents have visa at the same time. There's no competition. None. So stop. Use this LGBTQ front and black the culture. And in a, in a business really, but um, to the man them burn out Chichi man are Look how much people in America burn out Chichi man. Look how much people Look how much people in America burn out Chichi man. I don't care to call them citizenship. I don't care to lock them up. I don't care to them nothing. But because you know I shut down the culture and make it look like our music is not the number one. When you use the LGBTQ something as a scapegoat for black men me and performers them of our culture. So that way they know when they can put up some little mediocre artist and performer against reggae and dance and make it look like them better than we. They are not how we run the thing. Here is no over hundred years now we are on the thing. No matter what jar, what age a, a, a reggae and dance all you go. From when you crisscross them to when you every day to when you everybody, biggie small them, the whole of them on a TI, everybody on a Swiss beats and everybody, are we collaborate with them and bust them from when you Maya to when you Janet Jackson, everybody. Come on. Stop. Use the visa thing for shadow the culture. That's what I do. And I make it look like a, 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 a bunny now chichi man and have a problem with. You know when we start near a million American artists with bono chichi man and bono party man. And still the shows everywhere and don't get black, black, blacklisted now not at all. Stop it bro. So yes, we're glad Elephant have him visa. We're glad Capitan have him visa. We need Bunty and Bean if you get them visa. We need Popcorn, Javinci them if you get them visa. Free up the people them. Free up the people them. Free up the people them. You understand? Me glad Ding Dang have visa as one of our other artists. But we need all of them for your visa. Why hold back for the people them visa? The man them not kill nobody. The man them not do nothing like that. Everybody have kill around them. Nobody not have more kill around them than the rapper them. Everybody have kill around them. So, because somebody where you know go kill somebody, that means you don't forget visa. So, because somebody run you, End up become a criminal means that you not forget visa. Oh, where? When? What that have to do with you? What that have to do with you? All politicians have people around them who kill people. I know people who kill people. Wanna take a politician visa? No. No. So you know, want blacklist them and them via association. Via say them know somebody where a criminal. Everybody know somebody where a criminal. Everybody knows somebody we are criminal. So why the fuck the American embassy are going like the man them kill nobody? Me not understand. What the man them do? I know you can't give an explanation why Bunty and Beanie and Sizzler don't have visa. I know me can't hear why Popcorn don't have visa. What the problem? Like tell me, give it, give it, give it clarity. No, tell me the truth. I'll know. The U.S. Embassy don't respect me enough to tell me. What the fuck have our artists done that you are not giving them visa? What them do? Give it clarity, no man. Give it explanation. You just turn down somebody for visa one million times. And you can't give a, 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 um, a, a reason. And then the government is not standing up for the entertainers and say, the U.S. Embassy, can, can we get clarity why our ambassadors are not allowed entry into the United States? Or what, what them do? Which drugs they catch them a ship? 
which human trafficking you catch them and do? What kind of terrorist act them do? What, explain to us what the fuck have they done? Because you can't tell me, say, oh, um, him have a friend that do crap. So, every single politician have a friend that do crap. Everybody have a friend that do something for the law. Everybody. What does that have to do with the person, though? This person is an ambassador. It's a musical ambassador whether you are like it or not. Why them not on a visa? Tell me why them not on a visa, no? A whole lot of fuckery U.S. Embassy going with you. Ricky Chupa have one fake gun for something to talk about YouTube. You took out a man visa for that? Like, you have sense? We don't have the highest level of gun crime in the world. In the world? And you want to take a man visa because I do a video skit with a gun? People, me don't want it so on a way when me say this, you know. But me have to say it because when you have a certain job, you have to do your job. I think it's time for the Jamaica government to stand up to the U.S. Embassy and stand in solidarity with the entertainment sector of Jamaica and start questioning the U.S. Embassy, on why the fuck are you blocking these people's visas? The government of Jamaica has to, at some point, grow some balls and ask the U.S. Embassy, what is your fucking problem? What are the problem? Because this is not right. It can't make sense. It can't make sense. It is, it is actually crippling the country when our entertainers cannot travel out in the world and sell brand Jamaica. Cause that's what we do. We sell brand Jamaica. When you have our main marketing people cannot enter certain regions for no reason at all, it limits the sale of the product. So we are losing money. We are losing income. We are losing traffic. Because the more the artists them go out there and deliver the culture the right and proper way, it's going to spark interest. See? People who are interested in Jamaica more. People who are far with Jamaica more. Based on the entertainment where we are put out there. Because I'm an artist alone, I'm saying entertainment means selector, comedian, everybody. When we go out there and bring the product, the product attracts the audience and the audience wants to see the original place of this product. So I think it's time for the government Whichever one in, in a business, I wish one in, whether labor right or PNP, they need to stand beside entertainment and demand some respect from the U.S. Embassy. You understand? The U.S. Embassy has been operating like this for a long time. Where them feel like them just get up and them just in a Jamaica and deal with Jamaica and anyhow. Yo, you will get turned down for your visa, you know. And you can't ask them why, why you get turned down, you know. Them run you out and give you one bag of paper, say, if you got to do this and go online and go, nigga, talk to me right now. The fuck you mean? You just told me I'm turned down. Why am I turned down? Have a fucking conversation. I'm at the counter. I'm right in front of you. You have your compu computer in front of you. Put me information and it turned me down. Why? There has to be a fucking reason. Shit, I never want to cuss about that. Sorry, people. Sorry. 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 I never want to cuss nobody. I lose it a while ago. But may I say, 
I'm saying, I think, this is just my opinion, it's not a fact. I think if the government over the years, meaning I'm not talking labor right alone, I'm not talking PNPL, I'm not talking about over the years, over the decades, if the government was standing up and having proper dialogue in defense of the entertainment sector towards the visa situation, we wouldn't have that problem here where the U.S. Embassy just feel like they can deal with entertainer any of them feel. Because I know we can't get a valid reason why popcorn can have a visa. But when the U.S. Embassy put in popcorn name, Andre Sutherland, whatever, them say millions of dollars generate. So this man is also an asset to America. He's not only an asset to Jamaica, he's a big, big asset. You have multiple collaborations that were released in America. Them know how much it sell. Them know how much views. Them know how much this. Them know how much, how much plaque him get from Billboard or YouTube or wherever him get. Them know so this man is not a normal man. They are under like, you have a question for ask if he's an entertainer. The proof is there that he's an entertainer. So what the fuck is the problem? Uno know Bonticula done one million work permit over the years. Uno see him versus everybody we work in an embassy America watch versus. Them see him and being in them know so them money an ambassador for joy. From before, from visa having picture where you can glue them and tear out. Them as see Bunty and being in them are come a foreign. Them from, from, from name the venue them over the years. Bunty and being in them lock them down already. So, what you can tell me, say now, in a, about 20, about 10 years now, them lock down kill uh, about 8 year or 7 years, them lock down being it. Like, uno a tell me, say, uno no know, say, a bunty a being it, uh. What crime bunty a being it commit in America? Who them kill? Which president them try assassinate? I mean, that's all. What the problem? Analytical, big up. What, what is the problem? Who is standing up and, and querying these rejections of visa? Who are do that? Who we have in a government where it's responsible? Figure take on the US embassy and ask them, what are the problem? Give with transparency. What the fuck is the problem? What are the problem? Because there is no problem. Problem is them not like what we are seeing. Because we are seeing an uplift black people, I empower black people, I denounce homosexuality, I promote God, I promote unity, I promote the Almighty, I promote Emperor I promote Africa. That's what they don't like. That's all them don't like, you know. The artists them don't do not know. The artists them don't do not know. The artists them don't do nothing. But them know say, if we keep out the main players, we keep the culture at a level. You understand what I say? 90% of them artists were boss and run the place. A Jamaican artist them have to collaborate with. You understand what I say? So my thing is, who inside the governing body of Jamaica is responsible to go and confront the U.S. Embassy, or the British Embassy, or the European Union. Uh, tell me, you have to have a, a, a body of people in place to query these things. Because when them shut down the artists, these are the problem. You know? Politician, big up Lotus Flower K by Budges. The politicians tend to think that when the artists are grounded, it doesn't affect them. It affects all of us. It affects all of us. Because if, all right, let's take a car for instance, right? Say Jamaica 
is a car. Right? Like how you have a Benz. You have your AC. You like your AC cool and when it's hot, you turn up your AC and wind up your window. Also, you like your, 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 your LED light when you door them. You like your remote seat can move back and forth. And you understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, do you know that if the, the distributor, then the catalyst converter and the filter in the car will distribute the gas to the rest of the vehicle to create that AC feeling, to move that seat, to make all of the comforting things in the car. If the filter or the catalyst converter is taken away, then the car cannot work. So I want you to understand what these big embassies are doing. They are taking out the distributor. They might take out the filter and the catalyst converter out of the vehicle called Jamaica. Now, no matter how big a politician is, he can't be bigger than an artist. He can't be more popular than an artist. People don't run down politicians when they go to the airport or when they go to them places. People run down artists. People run down entertainer. People frightened for entertainer. People pay their money for the entertainer. So, ego play a part of the problem with them politicians. Yeah. Them have ego because they feel like because of them I call the shot. Of them for be the star. And of them of them for run everything. See? So, what me I say is no. See? Them push them ego in the responsibility where they're supposed to have to secure the culture. Because them feel like they are more popular than the artists. And them feel like they are more bigger than the artists. And them feel like they have more fans than the artists. It will never happen. We need to stand up to the US Embassy. We need to start a dialogue where it makes sense with the British Embassy. We need to start, like, come on now. Like, you can't just get up. You, you have an embassy in a, my country. Nothing up at the embassy is for free. Them act like say US visa is a sorry for thing. You have to pay for it. You have to pay for your petition. You have to pay for your visa form. And you have to pay for your interview. So not, not free. So the government, not fear act like say you have to kiss us. Like, yes. You want to come to America, come eat food and make money. But I'm not free. It is not for free. Nobody not get visa for free. Nobody. Nobody. None of the artists when you say have a work permit is not for free. The petition has to be paid for. And it have to go through liar. And it have to go through proper thing. It's not for free. So me know uh, the government of Jamaica I act like say when them take with the artist visa them you no afraid to talk up for the artist them like it's a sorry for thing a crazy money America make off a we me don't know if you know but you know say a lot of Caribbean countries have to come to Jamaica to get a US visa because sometimes I don't think people understand what I go on now. A lot of Caribbean countries does not have an embassy in their country. They have to use the Jamaican embassy because Jamaica is that important. Ask yourself, why everywhere leader will come in a power have to come to Jamaica? Just, just thinking on it. Think America put embassies how so much place in the world? Why one did Afi there Jamaica? Just thinking on it. Just think, no? We don't understand that. We don't fear kiss us. 
we feel negotiate. Lady B official, happy birthday. Happy New Year, Mama. You see me, because I have New Year's Day today. No? So I am saying to you, people, Jamaica is one of the most important places on the planet. With his stop, kiss, people, ass, and stop going like say, we're fucking frightened. Zin, someone are going to say, yeah, the America say, you can't say anything. I was living in Jamaica for 20 odd years before me get visa. So I never always have visa. And when I go up to the embassy, I never frighten and kiss no ass neither. I go up there and say, I get it, I get it, I get it, life goes on. You understand? So I am saying, the government have a kiss ass mentality. When you have our biggest product, because nobody can tell me nothing. Bunty and Beanie are the two biggest giant out of dance hall. Remember, we have a lot of giants. Zin? Remember the Shaba and Ninja Man that carried us up there. Zin? At one point, it was Super Cat and Ninja Man, remember? And then Shaba and Ninja Man take over the rivalry something there and become staples in other music. A Bunty and Beanie come out, do that rivalry something there. And then Cartel and Movado go close for about Monty and Beanie and then, you know, it got problems, problems, problems. So that dream that it feel. Cause at one point meeting say, yeah, Cartel and Movado go go around Monty and Beanie, but it stopped off. Anyway, we say that we said this. Our government must and needs to acknowledge Say, when we have an ambassador, then we product them. We have to protect them at all costs. And America sees Jamaica as a feeding tree. But them see we as a feeding tree, but paint the picture as if. I'm oh, sorry, them are sorry for me. If I said this before, and I'm going to say it again. And a lot of people don't understand. If America really cared so much about Jamaica. Why are they increasing visa sanctions on Jamaica? Why do we even need a visa to go to America if America really love us and care for us like that? They do not fucking care about us. See what they Canada have much country can go. Once you get visa already, you can go without, without no more visa. Jamaica was not involved. They don't fucking care about us. We are running pine finger upon Canada, but Canada is operated by England. So if Canada said that, England said that too. Because England run America and Canada. So sometimes we are pine finger and not pine finger upon the source. The source is England. England now free way up neither. One time we used to have letter for go England, then now that again. So we have a visa for go England, we have a visa for go Canada, we have a visa for go America. They don't necessarily say we are the enemy. Unless it's every big world country a weed them a fight. I don't care, I see. I don't want glasses. Hmm? Talk the truth. So if they can get up and free up everybody every day, you know what they say? You know, we see a new video yesterday where the embassy are issued. I say, Pitney features change. So now, if you are renew your Pitney passport, you know, now you have to care evidence every year you have to carry a picture from every year for sure them say the same people you know else you got a problem to get a visa what kind of fuck with that what kind of fuck with that so say you not going to renew your passport for 10 years them say you have to have every year you have to take a picture of your picnic for the tenure and carry it up they can show them say this was my child this is my child this is my child this is my child so oh them are free up the world see and the only place them are put more and more sanction make it harder and harder jamaica but yet still the visa not free yet still the work permit not free yet still the visa farm not free 
Yet still, your visa interview day not free. So, what we are, well, on. why would you just quiet and take everything with them? So, when I buy, we are buy something. If you're going to a store and you buy a product, and you, when they take up the product, the product open already, you got to tell the attendant, say, yo, this open already. Me need one with seal. Me don't want to pull already. You understand what I'm saying? So, why the government can speak up for entertainers We get them visa take for no reason? Where there's no logical reason where it makes sense. Let, let's, let's, let's be realistic. Every single petition of a PFA. The U.S. Embassy collect tax off of everybody we get work permit. So the artists them now come after and come beg on them. I want to tax every money where they pay paper, every contract on the tax. So why the fuck I want to feel like when you can just get up and mash up artists' livelihood and mash up them, them work thing where them are doing because you don't feel like you have a personal vendetta because you don't want to use the LGBTQ community as a scapegoat for fight righteous music and the culture of God because Jamaican culture is the culture of God. You know? I am saying, come on now, Jamaica government. It's time to stand for the people, you know. It's time to stand and fight for the people. Fight with the people. Or die with the people. Muda like here the real reason. Why Bunty Killer and Beanie Man don't have a visa? Muda want hear the real reason. Why Sisla Kalanji don't have a visa? Muda want know the real reason why Popcorn can't get a visa? Muda want know the real reason why I'm in a Javinci in America. What, what, what is happening? What is happening? Oh. Me just, me just a try overstanding the bridging. Like, me I wonder if them concern yeah, not in a the, 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 the Minister of Foreign Affairs brain. Like, why are they doing this to our artists over and over again? Lucian, I come to the airport with him roots. You remember say them take Lucian a visa because them claim say marijuana extract in a the roots. Like what kind of bull fucking shit? What kind of madness that? What kind of madness that? But yet still weed legalized in America. When the sister them take people for fool. And I pay your pay for visa. Visa no free. Visa no free not know where your shape are for me now. So if you take my money, collect tax off of me, and just get up and feel like you want this me. I'm mean, enough to ask the question. The Jamaica government, both sides, act like the U.S. Embassy is the crib of God or the crib of the Almighty. What are the problem if you can't have appoint the Minister of Foreign Affairs to do investigations on why they are treating Jamaican artists the way they treat us over the years. And a one time them do it, you know. And a one set of artists them do it, you know. One time them lock out Capitan, you know. Like, what are the problem or what the man them do? The man them feel freedom of speech, Bridging. The art form requires fear sing. So me if you sing when me I sing, 
where God inspired everything through my culture. And then he had to take a visa with my pay for. And I act like it's not a business here. Yeah, the U.S. Embassy is a business. And it's a multi-million dollar business. And them know that Jamaica is one of the biggest selling points. Else they wouldn't have the embassy down here. Okay? DJ and us girl poor big of yourself. People, if them not put American embassy everywhere in the Caribbean, why is Jamaica so special? Think about it. Because Jamaica is the selling point of anything. Jamaica is the selling point of every single thing in the world. All along the US embassy there, Jamaica now nah move. You know how much place the US embassy go and end up having move? Can they now make the money? How we are make the money? Jamaica can make the money. A Jamaica can make NEC so big. NEC big long time in the world, but never big panda scale away the pan. Till Jamaica can start take up NEC and sing about that. Since Jamaica can stop sing about Alazi, where you look at it? Hmm? Jamaica sing about Syria when it just come out and stop sing about it, wait there. What, what are the two biggest lick in a dance? More than anything. Why? Can you sing about? What make Guinness so big over the world? Cause Jamaica and dance Guinness. Which other genre you hear sing about clocks? None. Are we alone sing about clocks? And keep them business running. You know, you know, hip hop artists are sing about no, 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 clocks. Be a genre and them sing about. If Jamaica stop sing about your product, it dead. So, you know, uh, Jamaican people uh, act like nobody a bumbo clad. Sorry, for, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sure. Yeah. We don't want nobody to act like them are sorry for Jamaica. Like, like, like I do not do something for Jamaica. We don't use bumbo clad Jamaica. Sure. Yeah, there's something wrong with me. I use them, I use Jamaica. Make me be honest. I use them, I use Jamaica. So why if you act like a big way a big one for something? Me, me, me not get it. Very good. My laptop turned on. Yeah. Yeah. People, my laptop never had that turn on. You know, so. It turn on, you know. Yeah. As for me, I say, Zine, you see, because me know myself, Nobody can ramp with me now. I'm going to take certain this in. When you know yourself, you know yourself now. The world I act like say, they might do something for Jamaica. I don't do nothing for Jamaica. A Jamaica I do for Uno. I will sell the most brand. I will bust the most brand for free. So I don't want nobody go and like say, we are idiot. And the government for know that too. You need to set up a unit, a team that is responsible for making sure, say, the U.S. Ab the US embassy don't abuse them powers. Because they've been abused them powers over the years. The U.S. embassy been abused them powers. Who are check them? Who are stop them and check them and say, what are do? A Jamaica on the day, you know, it's come like, it come like how KFC would have a branch of Jamaica. You have to work with Jamaica on the last one set of what you do. We are act like the U.S. Embassy. We have to work with them, say, why? Them in our country, and them to work with what we are say. Certain places where them embassy, they them can't run certain joke. So them are run it with we. Oh. You think some place the U.S. consulate there in the world, them can put up a rainbow flag? You, you think, well, uh, let me ask you something. You feel like uh, every country where U.S. embassy there, them can put up one, one LGBTQ flag, you're mad. And here why we can't ever to blame them. We have to blame the people that we put in control to speak on behalf of 
us. You understand what I say? Because no, and we are beat the oppressor them, you know, and I beat the wicked man them, and I understand, say, and our gatekeepers them and shot callers them and let them in. Because they are not going to the meetings and negotiate. Them now go in at the meeting them and negotiate based upon what them know them have. Them go in there and negotiate with them too and stretch out like beggar. You are going to walk on a plaza and see a beggar sit down in him dirty clothes and stretch out him and I beg you and make him this year. No. If the beggar style, I say, move here, so I'm not going to give him money. I think like that's what Jamaican politicians over the years go into the meetings with them and stretch out like beggars on the roadside. They don't go in there to negotiate, to evolve, elevate, and plunge the country in a better. Bro, I go to Dubai. No one will listen to me now. No one will listen to me now. Because I'm going to go Dubai rich or Dubai. All them get so rich. All them get so powerful. If you stand up to where them are set, Set your standard and hold it. Alright. When you when you land at Dubai, ask anybody where you got Dubai. When you land at Dubai and you go to the immigration area there, so as you walk for go to your car, you have some man in a some black jacket suit where advertise where advertise and a um Invited to be an investor in Dubai. You know why? They meet you at the doorway and ask you to invest. Because in Dubai, you cannot own any business without partnering with a native from Dubai. I want to listen to this again. You cannot just go to Dubai, take your money and say you yeah, open a business. Is not so it work. You have to partner with a native from Dubai. Meaning, you have to go find somebody for say I am them own the business. Okay? So, them money when you see out at the front in a black jacket suit and them are, they are selling marketing. Them are the marketing and I invite you. Because the people, Dubai people have now set it up as a business, as a company. So, if you don't know nobody, say you're in Dubai, you don't know nobody, but you want to start a business, them will provide somebody for you. And you can partner with. See? I remember when I travel, I don't go travel like me, an idiot, you know. I travel and learn and ask questions, you know. So, when you go to Dubai, you will buy a Adidas sneakers in America for $60 or $55. When you got Dubai a $95 or $100 for the same sneakers. Reason being, the person will go down there and open the store, they are going to do that business. They say Adidas open them business down there. They must be partner with somebody. And the person, I think them get 60% and you get 40. So now Adidas have to up the price. So that's when them cut the check for the Dubai person. Them still have money. Trading. GBT, big up yourself. You buy a badge. So I want you to overstand. Since Jamaica love pattern of bag of things. Oh, them no pattern that. Since Jamaica love fala. And our government people them love fala. Oh, we not follow that. Oh, we not follow that. Oh, is that something that we do not emulate? To empower each citizen. In a Jamaica. Cause now, people have their own citizens for partner with their own business. All the citizens are doing sit down and collect a check. That's how Dubai secure wealth for each and every citizen in a Dubai. Don't get me wrong, there's still poor people in Dubai. But, them have a chance of becoming rich after nothing at all. Cause you soon see why investor go and don't do a Dubai there's Every brand where you think down there, Burger King down there, KFC down there, Lamborghini have stored down there, Rolls Royce have stored down there, BMW have stored down there, 
every every story where you can think of down there. So that is telling you that it doesn't matter what the the the, the agreement was. Them are doing it. So are the leaders of Dubai stand up and them foot and say, "I saw it." I figure. And then everybody follow suit. Where is our people, our leadership? We are stand up and say, listen, if I saw you I got treated with artists, them take on the embassy and go on with it. Where is that body of people? We are make sure say our ambassadors get treated right. We're 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 that one or we're Member say American people don't need no visa for come to Jamaica. England people don't need no visa for come to Jamaica. Try go to Dubai see if you have to get a visa no? Try go to Dubai see if you have to get a visa. I mean it's not as hard to get as a US visa or a British visa, but you have to get it. Yeah, I forget it. So, me not understand why the problem with Jamaica. Why we can't put on our foot to get some benefits. If we put on our foot, you know, them have to negotiate. Them have to free we up because so that's we can free them up. You understand me? So, what me I said last night now, sure say, we have the talent, we have the pulling power, we have the power to sell tickets. We have the power to sell out venues. But they are restraining us by blocking the product. Feel me, just big up yourself. They might block the product, if you understand what I'm saying. Because look how sweet I would have been now. If that last night was all a two-day party now, last night you have Shaba, Yellow Man, Caperton, Elephant Man, um, Cabra, who are getting the body? Mm, Barrington Levy. And then tonight now you have Bunty and Beanie and Sizzler, Chavinchi, Popcorn, Footer Hype. <laughs> you understand what I say? It is a massive. But you can't have a two night festival because Popcorn and no visa, Bunting and no visa, Bean and no visa, Sizzler and no visa, Javinchin and no visa. I don't understand what's popping. How it work? Intensity, big up yourself. No, it's just the truth. It's the truth. It's just the truth. Last night, the place with that tear down, and we sleep today, and go back tonight again. See, puppy, them a tear down the place, and dad are singing big album, and you understand? Bunty and Beanie are tear down the place, and we are just happy again. And everybody that know where they done. Cause two nights we sell out Barclay straight. You understand me, I say? Yo, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. U.S. Embassy, I try to cripple with thing, buddy. U.S. Embassy, come on, stop playing with it, dog. Stop playing with it. We don't make millions and billions and billions of dollars off of it. We don't know Embassy, stop playing. Free up the artist, them man. Stop bomb a cloth around put me, man. I mean, no, sir, now watch this, you know. The US Embassy and the people them around the embassy come here, so I want Jamaican man around up there now. You know, you hear me. You hear what me I say. You know what them I do to it over the years is wickedness. You know. When you load the agenda, man, everybody will never be gay. Uh, everybody will never be straight. But we choose to be straight. 
and our culture's foundation is on straightness. So live with it. Live with it. Stop ramping with it. Live with it. Live with it. And Jamaica need to add it, the U.S. Embassy. And see how much money them really make up for it on an annual basis. Yeah. Jamaica government only need to add it, the U.S. Embassy, and find out how much money them really make up for it for the year. Because for every single day, embassy open, the line long and we have a standpipe. Then if the standpipe stall people and we sell breakfast and drinks and water, and the people and we keep your phone till you come back and make thousands and thousands of dollars. Imagine what the embassy itself will make. Imagine what the embassy itself will make. So how oh, can you be treating your number one customer in this region like shit? Somebody talk to me now. How oh, you yeah, treat your number one customer? In the region. Like shit. And our government have a problem with that? Me have a problem with it. Me have a problem with it. Me have a serious problem with it. I'll boot you if you get back in visa. Because when man got prison in America. When American artists got prison. When they come to Jamaica. Nobody cares. Them let them in Jamaica see them. We. So I don't understand what I go on. So would you go to prison? That means you have no fair visa again. Because, hey, what do I tell me? Say? What do I tell me? Say? Look how much American artists go to prison for how much thing. See, all American artists come to Jamaica with gun and then hold her and give her back gun and give her thing she got back to America. So why? Who not going to tell me? Say, oh, would you go to prison? So you're not going to have no visa. Why? Why? How that makes sense? But your artists, them and your people, them can kill, murder, car piece of drugs, do anything. As them come out, them just take them passport. Oh, I'm going to Jamaica for a week. Oh my God, I'm going to the beach. I'm going to drink a coconut. Oh God. I'm going to buy me a few girls at the back road. Oh God. I'm a, I'm a, oh Lord. I'm going to cool off. This prison shit had me away. I'm out now. I'm all that makes sense. But would you can't see a visa, just stream go prison. Or not tell me say. Then that makes sense. See a slavery that. See a backer master business that. Talk the truth, man. No big slave business that man. That can't sit right to do it. Scabazine, dig up yourself. You man, I joke thing, people, man. Just imagine Top Canada visa. Imagine if Bundy and Bean in a visa. Imagine if Colin G that visa. Imagine if Buji had a visa last night. Javi and Chi. Bumbuckard. The line up there alone. Even guys are foreign, big up yourself. No, imagine the lineup they had. So last night, any of them do what them do. Because any of them tear on the show, everybody go on good. But them say a bit a Ellie and keep a You see me? But imagine you got a show there last night. See? And this man you wake up. And you look on the line up, you see popcorn, you see bunty, you see peony, you see buju, you see chaffinchi. And you see I act in them and TJ them and couple more youth. Probably want probably want Dexter. Hmm? That is true now. We glad by good boss, man. We glad by good that boss, you know? We glad bag with that boss. I would a normal thing. 
every other genre of Africa sleep. If all of our artists that we love and rate a visa, who can chat to it? No hip hop show could be bigger than our one. No Afrobeat show could be bigger than our one. No rock and roll, no, no way at all. Just start the truth, no man. Remember the man them wicked, you know. When busy them ISP, speak, you know. Busy now on a visa and can't travel, you know. Popcorn them ISP, speak, you know. Popcorn now have no visa and can't travel, you know. Remember when Bunty Killer them ISP, speak, you know. Them never give no visa and take one visa, you know. No man have to think they take one visa, but that's still not grown, me, you know. Because the eagle and the heart them surround me, you know. Remember, and then first them take one killer visa. When Beanie Man had dominated the place all day, then take a Beanie visa again. So I could pre, I could understand. And I don't have yeah, 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 and I don't have a visa. Then I take, don't have a visa all day, I didn't get back visa now. Which thank you, US Embassy, don't get back in visa. Hell, you get back in visa, keep talking. Why you free up everybody? Why you free up everybody? We don't want it take one gallon of gas to fill the car, but you give it two liter. Car now, nah, can't move. You, you say you give it gas, but the car can't move the same way. Remember, you know, you got to put it in the legislation. Oh, we gave Jamaica two liter of gas. That can start the bomb cloud car. We need a gallon of gas. Yeah, we need a gallon of gas to start the car. So if I don't a gallon of gas or more, you give you not give you nothing. You understand? So you free up the one there. You free up early, you free up Capita. Warm to the rest. Warm to the rest of people, them. Warm to the rest of people, them. Yeah, we need, come on, man. And we are selling the most visa in our region, you know. A Jamaica sell the most visa in the region. So our U.S. Embassy are ramp with us up. Free up with artists, them, Bridging. Free up with artists, them. Stop ramp. People, anyway, more sleep. Big up Elephant. Big up Capitan. I'm wait this morning, people. Them say, at Ellie show and Cape Town show. Them say, everybody performed good. It was a lovely show. And Shabba go hard. Yellow man go hard. Cabra go hard. Barrington Levy go hard. And them say, overall, at Ellie show and Cape Town. You understand? So people, Jamaica, number one product in the world, is back. Gaga, dance hall is back. Jamaica is back at number one. Love it. U.S. Embassy, free up the rest of the artists, them. People, remember tonight, Batty Rider off here. When they are in Maryland, the party I keep on place named Jess Up. Ladies, we are short, short, and short, and I have to dress up. No man. Don't wear a battery that come out, you know. Hey, not even, sh not even short pants not allowed. Not even half a pants not allowed. If your father are doing a half a pants, then nah, let it in. Battery that are fear for the woman, them. Ladies only in battery rider. You hear that? Yeah. Futa I, DJ Polish, Prince Royal, and a mad thing. Yeah. We in a DMV. They are Maryland, you know the thing go. Nice, nice hotel room, big up Jigger. You know a Jigger party, so I slap it in. Money dash way. Ladies, if you're not broke, or in a rent a maduna, and you can't know that maduna come out tonight. I guarantee you can't leave empty handed. A rich party. Zin, remember we give a $500 every hour and the hour. People are a normal thing. You understand? So, Tonight, Batty Rider affair. Zimmy, Batty Rider for the ladies. 
Carl Pants. For the man them. You hear that? No shots, no half a pants, none of that. When I run a joke. Then we are not running any joke. Ladies alone in a battle rider. See me? Any man will feel like them have the need for a battle rider, don't forward. Stay home and do that in, in the in the in the private domain of your home. Okay? So if you're there. In a Maryland, you know the thing they are just up tonight. Zin, Jiga, a theme party. The whole world I move tonight we outside. DJ Polish from New York City. Footer hype from everywhere in the world. Prince Raya from DC. Mad something. We got my brother Ricky Platinum. We see him last night. I put out some flares. You know, them on the book out the right show. You know, them on the play day and night, man, in the evening. Yeah, man, I know. Man, they rich as fuck. People, love them. Foot and hype. I go on to on a thick and sexy. Remember, such man, I'm at the right show. Remember, too, on a I'm at over such man, right show. Yeah. So people, as me I'm telling you, tonight, Batty Rider Affair, we here. So you see me? Remember Monday. Remember Monday is a thing named Pachidan. Zin, a thing named Fresh Drop Cookout in at the Bronx. Biggest cookout for it in New York. Put a book feed, shovel, Cinemax on book feed, DJ Wave, your fire blocks, your father Demos, your listen me. Shovel over the air. Mm, people, sleep a box me. All my ladies, another thing go. Tonight, ladies, tonight, tonight. What you had a fear? Shove out. Is it mad?